California, but weather, as always, is hot. It is the perfect stage for Losers Finals between Master Mario, the number 14 player in SoCal, of course, a Mario player, and Banjo, who you saw earlier. He's been messing about. He said he might consider secondarying him on Twitter, and have to see if he brings him out within this set as well. His opponent will be Shog. Uh, Shog, the Palutena Inc. player from Mexico, made his way through the Losers bracket. Mario! So this might be a bit of a tough test for both players. Master Mario, of course, was in winner's finals, narrowly lost a set to Eon. Is looking to have revenge on his mind. Game one on to Town and City, and this is where has those side platforms with which he can extend up air strings. Of course, Palutena can juggle with her own up airs, but strings might be a bit harder to come by for her. Shog certainly knows that will be playing extra cautious to avoid getting caught in those strings in the first place. Good catch with the explosive flame. Out of range of the auto reticle, but mind shot will finally have stage control. Has a 50% percent lead as well. The down tilt gets him back off stage. Good dash attack. Gets the sweet spot but doesn't kill. Close range explosive flame will send him almost all the way to the top, but up there in a row. Another one sends him into the reverse direction. Master just having to hope that that confidence isn't shot against that close set from Eon, but already losing that first stock and shot. Take on the offensive here. Unloads the flood. Good reverse up smash. Into these nair up air chains. Of course, even with the lack of a top, perhaps, you know, there, we do have Jump Steady in California, so he does provide some matchup experience, but even without a Palutin at the very top level, Master is certainly one down like the back of his hand. Good landing there from him, and now he has stage control. He's facing forward this time, now he's facing backwards, and that raw bear will finally see the 4% taken. Already right into the back throw. Shot. Just trying to occupy that space at the edge of the stage. Near. DI'd in on the down throw. That's never something you want to do against a Palo player. Perhaps just couldn't react in time. Throw into the tornado. And now Master Mario can finally get something going. As these platforms just escape, he uses the explosive flame to sort of give himself a passageway back to the stage, but. Master can really just trap him towards the edge of the stage. That might be his ticket to winning this game one. Another dash attack. Of course, it does have a shield on it, so it can. Every time Shog does use that dash attack like you just saw there, it does get rid of some of Mario's fireballs if he hasn't thrown that other option. One of the weaker hits might be just very close and hard to come by. Just barely floated down outside of the range of the reverse up smash and gets the back throw to kill. Shog seeing it 102%. So very close to death in his own right, but these rage will be helping out these early percent combos. Landing. That's Mario gonna be thwarted this one time. Didn't punish the reverse up smash and had enough time for the bear, but. Master's just getting pretty option happy at this point. And he was out of a jump, missed the ledge entirely. And an unfortunate end to game one of Luther's final shot. Palutena, he's been using it a bit more, for he, whereas he was more of an income player. Begin Smash 4, it's a Begin Smash Ultimate, rather. Now relying more heavily on the mix of those characters, perhaps even favoring the power. Master Mario, meanwhile, sticking with his Mario, perhaps a bit too early to Things get a bit too, a bit too out of his control. We may see that. We're not going to see it now. Game two on to town and city. And already, this is a much better start for Master. Despite getting that early parry, did shock. Wasn't able to capitalize. He has almost a fully charged blood and stage control. Hello. Good trap on the platform with the up air, but. Gets out just in time. 
that up air from Shock inches away. Close range explosive flame. So much more careful with that. Shock already like, stock up in game two. Now these up air strings from Shock can really extend his lead. Uh, two consecutive up airs in the fair. Will get him on stage with the spike. Finishes that hitbox, but not on stage as he would have liked. Like, and falls off stage in the air. Master Mario down three stocks to one. Has to mount some sort of a comeback here. Up smash. Very narrowly. That down smash will connect. Palutena's superior grab range will certainly come into play there. Gets the back air to follow off. Sorry to cut you off. Shock already two games up. Master Mario has to be finding an answer now. Shog enjoying this 2-0 lead and has the advantage, but Master Mario is beginning these strings now. Already has Shog at 88.8%. He's beginning to press the advantage a little bit harder now. Into the forward throw. Trapped off stage with the back air. Two in a row from Shog. Now finally answering back. Not a moment too soon. Had to recover up high. And twice in a row, Shock just didn't catch on, and Master Mario will have a passageway back to the stage. Club Smash only going to land within his shield. And timing up smash out of shield. Shock is trapped on the ledge, and Master Mario once again facing backwards. Grab. Flex the flood. This time. But that run up raw bear from Shog is going to eliminate Shog, rather. Master Mario. Look at that grab range from Palu and Shog just knows that he can reach so far into the distance. And if Mario just wants to rush him down, that might be some useful counterplay. Down tilt. Shog and Master Mario back up there. Up air into the tornado. Up throw into the tornado, rather. And now, Shog really has to work on his landings. Perhaps bypass the side platform. Master just drifted too far, and even with the jump, up special, not enough distance to make it back. Still a bit of a percent lead in the face of some of these platform cancels from Shock. Very sneaky approach here from both sides, but two up airs in a row. Three does not get the fair to convert, but extends the combo to the other side of the stage. One down throw into the back air. Even further. This is certainly the Master Mario we all know, and we all know what he is capable of of course, made it all the way to winner's finals and narrowly lost there, so if anyone can mount this comeback, it is him. Good up smash from Master Mario, and Shog is down to his last stock on game three. Smashville all look, already looking like it's coming into play, coming in very clutch, much more than those first two games. And those other stages, you know, they can be bad official, but when you have the platforms, the platforms are in those exact layouts that Master's looking for. That is what he wants. Down throw, read the DI correctly though. And now as he cycles towards, capes away that explosive flame as well. Master is so expertly knowledgeable within this certain matchup, but... 
field starts dwindling. That will be Nair food for Palutena and Explosive Flame as the finishing touch the Peace Tabers is song. Wanted the bear to close it out early. Shog is at 64%, so you would have feared it too low if the bear did connect on the sweet spot. Chained Nairs in that trade gives Shog stage control back. 20% down, but the up air brings Master to a dangerous territory. And another up B. Teleport's back on stage, unpunished, and the down throw wants the up air, but rolled away just in time. Now Master Mario has Shog at 110%, so an up smash would be very close to killing. A forward smash, an up smash will kill. Master Mario through the platform and didn't even need to reverse it. Amassed an early lead and just hung on for dear life as Shog tried to mount a comeback. Be interesting to see what Shog tries to choose as a stage choice, of course. Shog did win this game. Counter pick will be from him. Looks like it will be back to town and city. Meanwhile, okay, so a different stage. It's just gonna cape this fireballs and between the. Radio is certainly no stranger too, but. Nairs are just coming in so well. It's hard to really misspace them, but if they're active for that long, they really have that much hang time. Master has to already be drifting out to avoid them. Good shield gets this grab starter he was looking for. Now, now, time. Very wary of some of Palu's mid-range options, these auto reticles and explosive flames that... When he is on stage and he does have that bit of momentum, that bit of... This wouldn't be afforded to do. To take full advantage of that. To be patient with the shields and... Good, like that, drifts back to avoid the explosive flame, but just too far and that up B narrowly doesn't clip the ledge. One back air. Did not kill. Did not even connect. Meanwhile, the down tilt will just get into Master Mario's shield as he forward throws off stage. The flood will take him off stage. Is he going to hunt for the bear? Is he going to go for the back air? Maybe the tornado has three or four options. Goes for the cape instead. Sending back towards that bottom side blast zone. It's almost two and one. Always be looking for some of these openings. <laughs> On stage, won't be able to dissuade him too much. Look at how much more patient Master Mario is playing in Game 4 than he had been in Game Eastern Winners Final. Seems to be working now. Down to the back air though, even with the DI at that time. One up air. Grab just as he lands. Covers low, and that down tilt will actually seal it out. That's just enough percent needed. 5% earlier on that. That means time on the Angel platform. Trying to formulate a strategy here. Shog, of course, one stock away from moving on to Grand. It's back. It's just an inch to the left, but Shog survives and manages to Up Smash can be charged for a while, and now Master Mario is really in a bit of trouble here, already at 94%. These 
explosive flames only adding percent just out of house grab range. That back air trade is going to send him off stage. Master has to pull out a miracle here. If there is any character who can find an early kill, it is one like Mario. He's gonna fall victim to some of these grabs. Has to play almost perfectly to even force game five. Good back air. Perhaps a cape. An early kill. Get clipped by that long last round one. Explosive flames. The second will take him off the top. And Shog wins losers finals three to one. Master Mario, understandably upset. He'd just been doing so well to just work his way and finding any opening he could. But just that labyrinth of explosive flames and auto reticles and too much for him.